Isn't it my turn to drive? You drove last time. No, I didn't. You did. You just think I did because we look alike. Really, it was you. Well, how do I know I'm not driving now? Because I am. You've got trouble. What kind of trouble? The worst kind. You see what I mean? Pick up a slow. Oh, you're just not giving it enough gas. What are you talking about? I'm flooring it. Please, you drive like my grandma. But you look better. What's that? Taxi count. I didn't know the Scorpion Mobile had one of those. It's because you never had to use it before. Use it for what? Detecting toxic waste. Where's that truck heading? I don't know, but it's got enough toxic waste to turn your ass green. Black Scorpion, this is the police. Pull over to the side of the road and you won't get hurt. Step on it, Blue. I've got the pedal to the metal. Well, in that case, why don't you bring the car in tomorrow and, and, and I'll test it out. Attention all units, Scorpion Mobile heading north on Paris Parkway. Scorpion, this is your final warning. She asked for it. They're shooting. So? The car's bulletproof. Yeah, but those barrels ain't. They're shooting at us. What do you mean they're shooting at us? What do you think I mean? They're shooting at us. Try the stingray. No, I don't want to hurt a fellow officer. Well, I guess it rules out the arsenal. And the flamethrower. Get us out of here, will you? I'll lose him. So what do we do? Let's give him an oil change. Darcy Walker is a cop, but in the dark of night, she becomes Black Scorpion, doing with a mask what she can't do with a badge. Another job well done. You think the mayor will be happy? Why not? Now we'll have enough kickbacks for two re-election campaigns. Not kickbacks. Contributions. Right. Evolution got it wrong, boys. 
Man is inferior to marine life. After all, you don't see fish dumping their trash on shore, do you? All this talk about fish has got me hungry for seafood. Mmm. How about calamari tonight? If I were you, I wouldn't eat anything that came out of Angel Bay. Okay, let's do it. These are the most toxic waters I've ever seen. What can we do about it? Get the mayor to authorize my cleanup proposal. No, he said it would cost too much. Not as much as the bad publicity will cost. Oh, no! What's wrong? This is worse than I thought. Someone is dumping toxic waste here. Be positive? I'm absolutely... Look, you gotta move the party elsewhere. I'm gonna give you a ticket. People are using our ocean as a sewer, and all you can think about is writing tickets? Oh, that's rich. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I said, look at me! What are you? goes to Vegas for their anniversary. Hey, what's up, you humps? <laughs> Strickland's wife wants to go on a cruise for their 20th. He's scared to death of the water. <laughs> Won't even go near a pool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pumpkin pie, anything you say. You're right, you're right. The cruise will be great. I can't wait. See you tonight. Go, 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 go! How'd the Vegas idea go, Cap? She gave me a choice. Cruise or alimony. Hey, guys, sorry I'm late. Walker, I want to see you in a bikini right away. Excuse me? A lifeguard was assaulted by some crazy broad screaming about toxic waste being dumped into Angel Bay. I want you and Rafferty undercover as beachgoers. Oh, come on, Cap, we, we can do that. I just got a new Speedo. It's red with a little green stripe. It kind of makes me look like I'm smuggling plums. Do you think that's a bad thing? That's enough out of you. This isn't going to be some day at the beach. Well, I guess it is going to be a day at the beach, but not the way you think. Besides, I got another job for you, too. I want you to go down to Army Surplus and get me a life vest. Yeah, yeah. Maybe something in a nice canary yellow. Whatever you say. Oh, and pick me up a box of seasickness pills. On second thought, you better make that a crate. Oh, and see if they've got an inflatable life raft. This is Kate Montgomery reporting live from the pier. In a statement from City Hall, the mayor has vowed to investigate the allegations that a chemical company is dumping toxic waste into Angel Bay. Back to you, Don. Mm. <laughs> Vow to investigate. I like that. Well, I thought it had a little ring to it. <laughs> Speaking of rings, I could use a nice big diamond on this finger. Well, uh, what's the count? Fifteen grand. That's all? That's it? I want to see that number at least doubled. Find another plant that needs their toxic waste dumped at a cut cost. Yes, Mr. Mayor. And Babette, set up a press conference where I express my deep concern for the environment and my love of sea life. What do you think of this? Looks like a good spot. For what? 
We might as well get a tan while we're here. Nice, nice. You know, this is not very professional. I mean, we shouldn't be mixing business with pleasure, you know? Steve, we have to blend in. Come on, it's a running assignment. For what? Well, I don't want to burn. Come on. Uh, okay. Oh, it feels nice. Shouldn't we be, like, conducting an investigation? You know, looking for bad guys? Don't worry. I've got my eyes open. Could you do my legs, too? Okay. Thanks. Okay, if you insist. It's really getting hot out here. Yeah, it is. Do you want me to do you? Excuse me? You're back. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, 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 that's, I'm good, I'm good. Are you sure? I'm sure, I don't burn, not at all. All right. I don't see anything, do you? On three. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it right there. multi-purpose, two-way, magnetic, adjustable power grip. Can you be a little more specific? It's a long metal thingamajig. Why don't you say so? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, right here. Baby, you are a lifesaver. Mm. What would I do without you? <laughs> Except maybe my laundry. Excuse me? That's why I can't find anything. All these dirty clothes are piling up. I want to know, when are you going to do something about it? What do you want me to do? Clean them like you were supposed to. Like I'm what? You my girl, right? But I'm not your maid. Oh, no. Remember that little French outfit I bought for you with the feather dust in the back, remember? And you had been... Mm -mm, no, that was just a fantasy. Just like you getting me to do your laundry. What are you going to do about it, then? I'm going on strike. You go... After all, I... Well, that goes double for me. These clothes gonna have to clean themselves if they're gonna get clean. Fine. Just make sure you stand downwind from me. Blood sample data is from Thursday the 18th. Eighty percent rise in blood alkaloids. Spectrum analysis shows unexplained presence of radioactive isotopes in red cells. Unexplained. Now this is toxic waste. This should be dead. Whoa. 
Welcome back, boys. Are you having calamari, or is it having you? You don't say. And how are you doing? Seems to be going around. What happened to us? Suddenly I yearn for the open sea. I've grown tentacles in funny places. Well, my initial findings show that the toxic waste has triggered a sudden and massive mutation of our DNA. And I now have a strong psychokinetic bond with oceanic elements. Tide, water, and wind. And the two of you? Let's just say you've become what you love most. Squid. I have ordered a team of investigators to work around the clock. If there is chemical dumping going on in Angel Bay, I will get to the bottom of it, and that's a promise. You're not the only one who can blow hot air, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Thank you. do the New York Times crossword in ink, too. Now then, what do you say we get wet and wild? Robbery in progress at First Angels Bank. Suspect has identified herself as Hurricane. Be sure to wear your raincoats. I declare this bank a disaster area. Squint, clean it out. <laughs> Property. Some broad calling herself Hurricane is trying to sink Angel City Bank. You and Walker get down there ASAP. Darcy's not here yet. Well, then take morons one and two with you. Is he talking to us? No, we're idiots one and two. Move it! <laughs> That's about enough to keep us afloat. <laughs> From where I stand, you're dead in the water. Well, look what we have here. It's an itsy bitsy spider. Well, beware, spider, because I'm gonna take this town by storm. What's the matter, Black Scorpion? Feeling a little under the weather? That was just the calm before the storm. <laughs> Hurricane! They say lightning never strikes the same place twice. I guess they were wrong. The it's 
Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. <laughs> Computer engaged stingray. Fire. Computer release Lux. Goodbye, itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> Let's blow this place, squids. <laughs> You flooded the engine. I didn't do it. Hurricane did. Can you waterproof it? Well, I could, but the water is the least of your problems. The negative ions in Hurricane Storm, they're scrambling the Scorpion Mobile's computer. So that means the car isn't going to respond to me at all. all right. Check this out. Huh? I'm going to get it to run. Talk to me, baby. Yeah, she knows who the man is. Listen to that, huh? Hey, folks, sunny day here with a look at the weather. President, we have a mild storm front pushing in toward Angel Pier with a cool breeze falling off. If that sweater wearing fool knows what's good for him, he'll clean up his act and his laundry. But don't you worry, folks, you'll be firing up those barbecues soon enough because it's going to be another picture perfect weekend here in the Southland. Not in your life, or anybody else's. With my newly acquired funds from First Angels Bank, I have built a cyclonic magnifier. A cyclonic what? The machine will increase my own powers, generating a Class 7 hurricane. <laughs> There's no way my ship's gonna leave port with a hurricane coming. I'm saved! Until the hurricane gets here? What are you guys sitting around for? All hands on deck! Batten down the hatches! The storm will be strong enough to wipe out the entire city of Angels. That sucks! Actually, it blows. <laughs> the mayor has until morning to give me his answer. But make no mistake about it, gross polluters of the ocean. I will get what I want, come hell or high water. And for you, hell is high water. <laughs> Our findings show that there's absolutely no evidence to support Hurricane's claim. What about her claim that she's built a cyclonic magnifier? Pure science fiction. I have consulted with our state's leading meteorologists, and they assure me there is no such thing as a cyclonic magnifier. <laughs> yes. Oh, but there is, Mr. Mayor. Believe me, there is. Hurricane, high pressure system moving in from the south. How long until it's within range? About an hour at most. Looks like we have company. Who are they? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Can I help you? I hope so. We're looking for Dr. Waters. I'm Gail Waters, and you are? Detective Rafferty, CAPD. This is my partner, Detective Walker. Am I under arrest? No, nothing like that. Angel Tech referred us to you. They said you're a leading expert in marine biology. Well, I have written a few books. Good. Could we ask you a couple questions? About what? 
Hurricane. Well, hurricanes are tropical rainstorms with high-velocity winds ranging anywhere from 74 to 185 miles per hour. Now, they're usually accompanied by thunder and lightning, and they swirl clockwise in the southern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. Doc, it, it, this is all wonderful, but we were actually referring to a criminal who goes by the alias Hurricane. The criminal? Yeah, she's gone on TV threatening to wipe out the entire city with something called a cyclonic magnifier. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I don't watch much TV. Regardless, is such a weapon of mass destruction possible? Theoretically, yes. Theoretically? Well, a hurricane could build a wind tunnel with the capability of magnifying a high-pressure system, but that wouldn't be very practical without a power source one that would emit a mass of negative ions as energy. Well, unfortunately, Doctor, she's the power source. Then I would take her threats very seriously if I were you. Detective Walker? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just wondering what was under here. That's the reason I don't watch much TV. Excuse me? It's my telescope. Its lens is highly sensitive to light, so I keep it covered during the day. It protects it from exposure to the sun. Ah, oh, speaking of sunburn. I told you you should have let me rub lotion on your back. It's a little bit late for that, isn't it, Miss Walker? No. Not really. Darcy, I don't need moisturizer. Yes, you do. <laughs> Is this gonna take long? I hope so. What? I said I hope no. I, I mean not. <sighs> Dr. Waters, high pressure system 300 miles and closing. Right on schedule. How is the humidity? 85% and rising. Excellent. Power up. Target. <laughs> Target locked. Stand by. Standing by. Initiate. So tense. I just feel so stupid. Well, maybe next time you'll put on some sunblock. No. Not about that. About this. What? Getting a back rub? Yeah, getting a back rub. It's just very. It's unprofessional. Why are you always so worried about being professional? You see that scar on my shoulder? Yeah. That's why. I don't understand. I had this friend in high school. Jim. It's a liquor store holdup. The perp grabbed Jim by surprise, and he took him as hostage. And he put a gun to his head, and he said, if I didn't throw down my piece, he would blow off his head. What did you do? And what the hell could I do? You know, I knew it was against policy to throw down your gun, but I, I thought it would save Jimmy's life. Did it? Shot him in the head. Point blank. And I took a round in the shoulder. And from that day forward, I 
swore that I would never get too close to anyone again. See, now I got as a dog, and I shoot him every year, and then get a new one. That way I don't get attached. <laughs> wow. And I thought, this whole time, the reason you didn't mix business with pleasure was because you, you didn't care? No. No, Doris. It's because I do. are at 47%. Cloud mass radiating 150 miles from center. <laughs> Sleeper on the Titanic. Hey, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just, my heart's beating a mile a minute. <laughs> Mine too. Well, the storm's a storm. I'll be okay. Are you sure you just you don't want to just stay here? Yeah, I shouldn't stay here. It's not a good. I, I mean, you know, with the storm and all, we're in a state of emergency, so I should really get back to the precinct. I know. I'm just worried about you driving in this weather. Neither rain, nor snow, nor gloom of night can stop me from making my appointed rounds. <laughs> Is that your mailman? No, he's, um, he's my mechanic. You have a mechanic that makes house calls. <laughs> it's a long story. You know, I'd love to hear it sometime, but I've got to hit the road. I'll call you from the station. Is that your type? No, that's, that's Steve, my partner. Good, because he's too short for you, and his body's all frumpy. What are you doing driving my car in this weather? Well, how else am I going to test the new storm deflectors? Check it out. The system is surge-proof, waterproof, and hurricane-proof. The core is a microprocessor that will detect masses of negative ions and produce a flux of positive ones through the parabolic antenna. 
So the storm will be neutralized. Now you can stop Hurricane and her hurricane. Yeah. If I only knew where she was. Well, she's got to be close to the water so that her cyclonic magnifier can do its thing. Any idea what it would look like? Big, 15 feet tall and funnel shaped, like an inverted telescope. Telescope? Why are you looking at me like that? Argyle, why would a marine biologist need a telescope? Get me. Everything they study is under the water, not over it. Exactly. You know something else? Every scientist in this city that went to college turned out to be a supervillain. That's why I never went to college. the machine. Why? Because it's the only way you can stop the hurricane. I don't mean to rain on your parade, but I know another way. <laughs> I don't mean to make waves, Black Scorpion, but then again, maybe I do. <laughs> spider went up the spot again
I don't believe it. No damage. The storm didn't even touch it. What? The cruise ship. It's hunky dory. I leave first thing in the morning. Cap. Cap, Cap you okay? I think I'm gonna be seasick. There she blows. I am a genius. Thank you, Hurricane. What are you thanking her for? For doing my laundry. Fresh as an ocean breeze. You're pathetic. Yeah, but at least I'm clean. It's a beautiful view. You know the lieutenant. That's what I used to call my dad. He proposed to my mom right here at this very spot. Well, I have a proposal for you. Dinner. But what about your rule not to mix business with pleasure? Oh, you both gotta eat, right? What do you say? Okay, you're on. Anything but seafood. You got it. <laughs> 